Hi, and welcome back to Cooking with Josh. Unfortunately, there's no babe today, it's just me. Uh, babe had to go back up north and take her girls back up north, so this is, the, uh, this is the difficult part about being in a long distance relationship. But I wanted to make this quick video because I'm pretty excited. Uh, my buddy Scott just returned back from a seven day fishing trip where he left San Diego, California, and he went south, yeah, south. He went south uh, down almost off the coast of Cabo San Lucas in Mexico to do a seven day fishing trip. Um, he caught a bunch of stuff, the pictures were amazing. Let me show you one of the pictures right now. And he was nice enough to give me a couple pounds of yellowtail uh, tuna and a couple pounds of yellow fin tuna which is all professionally uh, vacuum sealed flash frozen and this was caught today is Monday no today is Wednesday today is Wednesday uh, this was caught last Thursday or Friday so it's less than a week old super super fresh so tonight I'm gonna be making a yellowtail carpaccio car yellowtail carpaccio carpaccio I don't even know how to say it and that is what is even more crazy about this video you know I've been uh, dating babe now for about three years and uh, before that time especially like even at, at the time that we started dating I would eat out literally um, maybe three meals a day two to three meals a day I never had food in the kitchen I didn't really care too much about my health. I was eating out, I was eating great food, and it really is kind of, uh I don't know what the word is. It's kind of mind blowing to me that I'm here in the kitchen by myself on a Wednesday night and I'm gonna prepare this um, sashimi, if I, I'm saying that right, type dish I never used to cook before. And it wasn't until I started to get more serious about my health and my weight loss um, that I started doing more home cooking and with the support of Babe and she taught me a lot of stuff. And again, uh, if you're new to the channel, we have a lot of cooking videos, we have a lot of travel, vlogs, different things like that. But the reason why this is important and the reason why it's at least kind of neat to me is because we're amateur chefs. We're not even chefs. We're just amateur home cooks. And it's through other videos, maybe some of the videos that you guys posted that are watching this, that we've learned how to do some of the stuff in the kitchen. And now, at least for me, I'm not scared to experiment. If I screw up, I screw up. But you know what? I'm home cooking. I'm working on healthier dishes and healthier items. And I'm learning from other people in the YouTube cooks community. So I just want to give a shout out to all of you that have different cooking channels that post things on YouTube on how to sharpen knives on how to barbecue on how to cook sushi on just totally different stuff you know there's so much information on YouTube and you guys put a lot of heart and soul into it so uh, I appreciate that I'm sure babe appreciates that and we really appreciate you um, checking out our channel so without further ado let's see if we can't chop up some of this fresh yellowtail let's add some ponzu some jalapeno some lemon a little bit of sriracha and make ourselves a nice little dish so so I've ordered ordered this in a sushi restaurant before. I've never made it myself. I've never actually even cut up fish before uh, like this. Uh, here's our piece of yellowtail. And again, I have to give a big shout out to my friend Scott who hooked me up with about uh, probably two to five pounds of yellowtail and two to five pounds of yellow fin. So we're gonna cut that up. We're gonna use some uh, cilantro, obviously the sriracha, some ponzu, a little bit of uh, lemon. Uh, I got this rice, the Calrose rice. I, I, we ran out of rice. I don't think I'm gonna use that tonight though. And of course some jalapenos. So yeah, let's cut this up and see how it works. What I'm looking for is some thin slices. It cuts like butter. I want some, not that thick, but that slice is super thin, super easy. One jalapeno. I'm gonna try and get this paper thin. Let's cut that off. That off, we'll put that aside. I'm gonna try and just do real thin slices. So I got my cuts of fish on the plate here. So first things first, my jalapenos. I might have sliced these a little baby too thick, but I like jalapeno, so. You gotta give respect to the sushi chefs in the world. This is uh, quite an art and quite a craft. All right, next, because this is gonna be really good with citrus, we're gonna 
I think this would look a lot sexier if I had a white plate instead of a green plate. Who else loves the smell of cilantro? I love cilantro. So I just washed some cilantro. So let's just put this in the middle here. All right, we're almost done. Bear with me, guys. That's what we're having next. And we're just gonna take that. I know that this isn't the best camera angles on this video, but I'm a one man show tonight. So we have a little video on our YouTube of Valentine's Day date when we went to the Hoi Fong factory where they make sriracha. We love this stuff. All right, I think we're about done. This is gonna be delicious. melt in your mouth. Incredible. I should have defrosted two pieces. <laughs> hey you guys, I wanna thank you for watching. I wanna encourage you to try something new in the kitchen even if you have no idea what you're doing like I do. As always, like and subscribe, you know. This is our little hobby. We have a great time doing it. Uh, we love the comments. Uh, we made a little Patreon account today too. That's some new breaking news. And babe will be back on the next video. So thanks for tolerating my bad camera angles and just dealing with me. We'll see you guys later. See ya.